was saying to me before I came out here was how very, very important it is to have children. And I'm not quite sure whether or not he was telling me that it was sin to not have children, but I guess if he's saying that it's very, very, very important to have children, then I guess it's sin if you actively choose to not have children. And that's a part of the culture today. That's another thing that he said to me, this culture today is encouraging women to not have children. It's become very socially acceptable to not have children. Um, so it's just a part of this whole culture, which is a maniacal, Luciferian culture that is, is trying to wipe out uh, humanity. I don't really, in view of all this new information, I don't really understand what they're trying to do uh, from what I read the, these, um, the people that, that are pushing this agenda there. They, they want to put their consciousness into robot, robots, so not robots, but robots. And it just seems to me, in view of all of this understanding and revelation that we have, that, that this is the consciousness of the, of the male part of Adam who died, and they both became insane when they were cut off from God. Both the male and the female became insane when they were cut off from God. See? And, and I've already mentioned to you how angry they are, how angry the male parts of Adam are. They're absolutely enraged that the, that the women did this and that they're left without a body and that this, they've been all of these years subject to the female reptilian mind and, and the physical body in which they're entrapped. So they, they seem to have, uh, to, ca to capture, capture the humans that they were able to entrap, you know, and have them push in to develop these scientific uh, um, crimeas and, and, and androids and, uh, and ro robots so that they could put their male consciousness inside of them and not need the female reptilian. They're, they're actually trying to destroy the female reptilian race. So this is the best explanation that I have had since I became aware that there's a force out there that's trying to destroy the human race. These are the male sparks, the male fragments of the creation that was splattered all over the universe. They are enraged at the woman who left them and married the snake and they want to wipe her out to a man and put their consciousness inside of an animal or uh, a, a machine. So, the Lord was telling me how very, very important it is to have children and how ungodly and, and probably sin to make a decision, to make an active decision to never have children. And the reason that it is so ungodly is that we contain in our vessels the un in the incomplete, we contain in our vessels incomplete soul fragments that belong to God. If we do not have a child, or if you're a man, father a child, the, the, the soul, the nephesh that's in your blood dies. And if you happen, if you happen to have a transmigrating spark of Adam in you, he doesn't get transferred. I, I don't know what happens uh, if, if, if you don't get, if you're a man and you don't, well, it, it, you don't have to be married, I guess, whoever you have sex with, you transfer that, um, that, that, that spark of Adam to the woman. So, the Lord wanted me to tell you all how really important it is to have children. Because if you don't have children, the soul that, the souls that belong to God that are inside of you will die. That makes you a murderer. That's what he told me to tell you, brother. To willfully make a decision to not have children makes you a murderer of the souls that belong to God. You have no, you have no right to make that decision. You have no right to make that decision. 